Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Myself Malkai Santosh. Hope all are doing fine. Let's learn something new today. So today I am going to start a new framework which is Serenity BDD with JBHave. So Serenity BDD is a open source library. So it's a automation framework from BDD. So it helps you to write cleaner and more maintainability of the automation acceptance tests and regression tests. So Serenity also uses the latest test results that can be illustrative and narrative reports that documents and describe what application does. Okay, and the key advantage of using Serenity BDD is that you don't have to invest more time in building and maintaining your own automation framework. Serenity will do it for you. In this today's video, I am going to use JBHave as a BDD tool along with Serenity BDD framework. The reason why using JBHave because it is a open source BDD framework originally written by Dan North. You know all Dan North, right? Who is a creator of BDD framework. It is strongly integrated with JVM world. That's why it's more popular. And also it is used for development activities also. So mostly JUnit is the one which can be used for development testing, for unit testing and integration testing. And coming to BDT testing, JBHave is one of the best tool which you can use in the industry. In JBHave, you can write automate your acceptance criteria by writing test stories and scenarios using the familiar BDD like uh, jerking keywords given, when, then. So, so using these jerking keywords, we will create the scenarios and based on that, we will write the step definitions and we will create a runner file and we will run our test cases. This is the basic uh, JBHave where we can use, but the integration with CNDD, BDD makes you more better by writing JBHave stories. While working in an automation testing project, framework is everything. If you have not created the right framework in initial stages and you have gone and met uh, the same framework in the future, that may create more headache. So creating the framework from scratch with the good tools and technologies makes your life better in a testing team. So the aim of Serenity is to make it easy and reliability of the test cases and write quickly well-structured maintainability auto automation acceptance criteria. So for your favorite BDD, you can also use uh, behavior-driven development tools like Cucumber, JBehave or simply use JUnit. You can integrate with any of the tools and the requirements stored in the external source like Jira, and any other management tool you can integrate with them as well. I am going to show a high level project and the framework which I have created with Serenity BDD with uh, JBHave. So in the upcoming videos, I will present you each and every component of the framework in detail. So from scratch. So coming to this, uh, this video, the intention of this video is, uh, I wanted to show you what we are going to see from the uh, JBHave uh, framework. So what is the way of writing code and how we are storing the files and what is the project structure we are going to create and what are the files we have to include in Serenity BDD framework apart from BDD structure. So all these things we are going to discuss here and uh, in the coming videos we are also going to see each and every component in detail. So don't miss the videos uh, coming from today because uh, this will give a good learning scope for you for running Serenity BDD. So here is my IntelliJ. I have already created the Maven project. So under Maven project, I have to add few files which makes Maven projects to Serenity BDD. So the files here are serenity.properties. So serenity.properties is like pom.xml for Maven. So we have to integrate these properties so that it will be act as Serenity BDD framework. Okay, and as you all know, when we create a Maven project, we get the folder called source. Under source, we will be having two subfolders, which is main and test. So whenever we are writing Serenity BDD to test, all our tests should be under test folder. Okay, so we have to remember this. So under test folder, we need to write our step definitions. Then only Serenity BDD will identify our test case to run. So in order to run our test cases in the pom.xml, so in the coming videos, I will going to explain in detail in each and every file, what are the, uh, what are the components and what are the dependencies and the plugins I have placed. But in this video, I just wanted to execute these and show you what exactly we are going to have while working with Serenity BDD. Okay, in uh, in Java folder, I have stories, step definitions and pages. In sources, I have stories where we have closed the story files. So as we are in JBHave tool, we will write our scenarios in stories. Okay, so and we will be having some other components called serenity.config. Uh, all my drivers are stored in Serenity uh, in WebDriver folder. So for different OS, we have different folders like Linux, Mac and Windows. As we are working in Windows right now, so I have Windows folder also. So we have different browser uh, drivers like Chrome driver, Geekko driver, IE driver and uh, Edge driver. So whatever the browser we need to work on, we can use accordingly. And in the pages, I have used the page object model. 
So I have also integrated page object model for this and uh, step definitions contain the main code which we can drive from jbehave. Okay, without wasting the time, let's uh, run the, um, let's run our project. Okay, so to run our project, we need a Maven command. So basically, uh, our Sanity BDD takes a uh, verify as a Maven command to run our test cases because it will run the integration test along with the acceptance test. So it will take the verify command. So for that, I have created uh, some Maven command. So you can see clean verify and we need to add the tag called Serenity aggregate. So it will also create a report. So the main, uh, the main, uh, the main reason to pick the Serenity BDD is to get the illustrative reports. So whatever the reports we are getting, it's a top class. So uh, I will show you once I ran the code, uh, how the report will be. So let's run the uh, Maven command. So here I have created two stories. One is GitHub story and YouTube story. So it will run all the stories because I haven't mentioned uh, uh, any tag or anything specification to run individual stories. So accordingly, it will run all the stories at once. So it started running. So it's okay. It started running. So by default, it will use the Chrome browser. So it will launch the Chrome browser. So I have written some test cases. Uh, I will also explain you how I need to write the test cases for the different browsers and uh, different applications, uh, how to, so what exactly Serenity BDD provide us for the page objects. And uh, it will it will mostly ex uh, eliminate your uh, some uh, code from when you are writing from Serenity. Okay, so it already have predefined methods where we can reuse them. And, uh, it will really help you to uh, some uh, get your time off. Okay, so, oh, so it, it ran the story. So, so now it is aggregating the reports. So you see uh, in the results section, we got, I have ran three test cases, all three are executed and paused. Okay, so this is a report. So let me open this report. Okay, you see uh, how, uh, how illustrative the report is and we have the pie charts. So as we have three tests, all the three sets are passed. So we have uh, all the three tests passed. And you can see there are two features, one is GitHub and YouTube feature. So if you want to see what are the stories we have, so we have YouTube story and GitHub story. Okay, and uh, if I open GitHub story, so whatever the test cases I have ran, so it will show, I have ran with two test data. So that's why we have two uh, scenarios here. So if I open one of the scenario, it will show you the each and every screenshot. Okay, this was captured by Serenity by default when we are running the test cases. So whenever there is a failure, uh, it is easy to take the screenshot. So Serenity by default will take the screenshots and it will also provide you the time and name of the project and uh, all these things will be in detail with the timestamps. So this report will really help you to send you to send the team manager or some other, uh, uh, you can send it to to client to share, show them what exactly we have ran. Okay. So this is how we will execute the script. And uh, in the coming videos, I will show you uh, how exactly I have created this Genity JB have uh, project. Okay. I will explain you in detail from scratch. So, okay. If you're not, uh, if you're not, uh, understand what exactly is Serenity BDD, I am here to explain you from scratch, uh, what exactly is Serenity BDD and uh, how to create a Serenity project. Okay. So I hope you have got some idea what we are going to, uh, learn. Okay. So this is, uh, this is all about uh, this video. Okay. In the next video, we will meet you and, uh, we will learn some other new things. Uh, okay. And make our uh, learning in a good way. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, uh, Hope you like the video. Uh, if you like the video, share this to your friends and your colleagues who are able to uh, work on this Serenity project with Selenium. Okay, thank you.